Yes, oh, yeah, terrible absolutely. So handwriting guy. We have a Jared Randolph on the left side playing spell books. Where's Jerry's deck again? Here it is. So, yeah, here's Here, Jared see. Randolph's deck. I feel like I announced the deck. And here's Jerry right? Williams' deck. Yeah. Jerry, of course, still running his Dragon Rulers with all of the crazy cards he's decided around this weekend. This guy has terrible handwriting, so I'm kind of trying to figure out what he side decks. He uses two Jaguar in his side deck, so he's probably going to Two goes in match. Two goes in match. Some Rivalry of Warlords, Imperial Iron Walls. Basically cards that, doesn't, that don't let you play the game. I saw him the previous round. I walked up and looked for a little bit. He's, in fact, using the Imperial Iron Walls, signing them in against the Dragon Ruler matchup. Ref Panel is a very good card. Looks like he sides a High Priestess also and a Soul Drain. Yeah, he sides Soul Drain against the Dragon matchup as well. I wonder what he sides High Priestess against. Probably the Mirror. I'm not sure. He has two in his deck. I mean, do you really does need he really? third? That's absurd. I guess he does use two. I need to keep up with these decks. The only decks I keep up with are Dragons. Yeah, he's hardcore, but dropping as many Priestesses as he can over the course of the match. So the players are shuffling up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So let's jump back. Are we going to be able to like watch right here? Oh, oh sweet. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, no, it's it's here because this is the delayed. Oh, this is okay. like the actual live throughout. So this is what you want to look at for okay. like coverage. This will be a few seconds of delayed. So you see he's pile shuffling. He hasn't even gotten there yet. That's cool. But we can look at the chat through here. Is Jared on World and Timberance? No. no he does not. The deck lists are on altrealitygames.com. You can find the deck list under our ARG Worcester Circuit Series coverage page. This is, in fact, the top eight here in Worcester, Massachusetts for the third ever Alta Reality Game Circuit event and the first time we've been able to bring you live coverage round one all the way up top to the finals. Series players, welcome to the top eight. Can they hear that? Quick announcement. Even though this round is untimed, you still can and will be penalized by slow play. On that note, welcome to the top eight. You may begin. That's another thing that's great. There's no time. There's no time. Yeah, we're in the top so eight of an amazing. event, and these players literally can be here for three hours if their game naturally has to take that long. Of course, we're not saying that there's no slow play warnings, right. but these players can be deliberate, take their time, come up with the right decisions. They're playing for a lot of money and a lot of things on the line, and that's exactly how Jared this game should be. All right, well, naturally it looks like... I think Jerry rolled a 12. Jerry or Jared? Jerry. Oh, uh, well, yep. Looks like Jerry Williams will be beginning the first game in the top eight here at the ARG. Worcester Circuit Series. Looks like he's got a lot of monsters. Yeah, it looks like his hand structure. I see at least one maxi, though. That's not Obviously good. not something you want in this matchup. Right. A Tempest. Oh, look at that. He has Tempest title and Redox. Obviously a strong opening. Just normal summoning a 3,000 defense on a monster. No big deal. Yeah, he's probably going to sinker after this. Now, in this matchup, what would you sink your into on the first turn? Um, you know, I don't know. Like, if my hand is all monsters, I would probably just pass. But see what the situation comes yeah, up. I mean, not Jerry. Not Jerry, no. I mean, Spark, I guess, isn't too bad. I like making Thought Ruler against his deck, especially because he uses all these. Oh, he has six cents in his open hand. Does he? Yep. Oh, oh man. True Jerry fashion. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, and, and you have an upgrade. So it looks like he had he a He could make Spark. My guess would be he's going to make Spark. Yeah. Still it really depends I if he can. Don't, I still don't think he knows. He just wants yeah. to. Yeah, he makes spark. It's just, it's Except difficult. Yeah, he, the most he, broken card ever. his hand is obviously strong, six cents, and the ability to summon spark dragon. But against this matchup, I'm not sure. If he misses off six cents, spark is just bait for that fate. Right. He's but almost, there's nothing, every, every there's not, is Yeah, but it's just nothing. For fate. Yeah. Let's see if Randolph has opened up with a ideal enough hand to get him out of this position. He's got a couple of monsters. Yeah, the game really hinges on how the Sixth Sense turns out. Yeah, he has at least one Magician. Looks like a Torrential, too. So, Spellbing Magician of Prophecy hits the table. And resolves. Yep, <laughs> resolves. Yep. Crescent. Oh, gosh, he's reading Crescent. Oh, God, he's oh, reading no. Crescent. Oh, this is bad. Oh, he news. knows what it is. Okay. He's probably just confused because it was super rare. Yeah. Yeah, that was just newly released as a super rare. So, obviously, he's probably going to get Master, Secret, and Fate unless he has one of those three already in his hand. Like oh, so it looks like he probably yeah. has, yeah. So he probably definitely has Master in his hand already. So he's in good shape. Even if he misses on Secrets, he'll be able to Master. Copy the Crescent for a second right. time. If he wins uh, the championship qualifier number three, he's up to the front screen. Game two, he hit Secrets. Yeah, absolutely. He always hit Secrets with that. Did he? Oh, yep, of course he did. He did? Yep. 
Yeah. Usually how it goes. Bang. There it yeah, is. Absolutely. Yeah. What would you expect, right? Well, it's only fair. Jerry began it, the game and rolled yeah. a 12, so I guess he can't be too upset. Andrew 6 cents. So. <laughs> Andrew 6 What did he reveal? Faith. I believe he revealed the fate that he just starts off the secrets. Okay. So now this will let him go get the tower, so he'll be able to manage Spark Dragon, play tower, be in really strong position here. Of course. Jerry could just draw a and just... Or just get a roll of 5 or 6. Right. I don't think Jerry's the type of person that's going to call anything with those. Jerry also uses Terraform because that's another out for the field smoke. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think Jerry's the type of person that's going to call anything with five or six. Oh, definitely not. Who? Especially in this matchup. Who what? Okay. So he sits to the back row and tower. passes over to Jerry Williams, who draws for his turn. Flip and six flips cents. immediately flips six cents. Let's see how it goes. Five. And he draws oh, five. And he draws five. <laughs> well, of course. There it is. There it is. Perhaps the stars are aligned for Jerry Williams this weekend as he drew six cents into return for the different dimension. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, <man. laughs> Jerry's Jerry just Jerry is just, oh, look at that. Sword. sword. I mean, who needs to draw more cards? Absolutely. Like I've already drawn five. Right? Why not draw seven? Oh, some trap stuns. Yeah, that's not perfect for this matchup or anything. Especially because this guy uses a lot of traps. Yeah, a lot. Great. Yeah, does he either run a lot of traps? He runs. I believe seven or eight. Yeah, absolutely. He runs six traps actually. No, seven, seven traps. Oh, yeah. Power. What's his defense? Oh yeah, double power. Yep. No, but you can protect Spark Dragon. With myself. Not in the damage step. Not in the damage step. It's book face down. Oh, yeah. Not in the damage yeah, step, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But if he attacks it, do you think he would just be like, I'm going to use this effect on my guy anyway? No, but then he goes face down. Scott below, can you come up to the front stage, please? Scott below. So, Jerry Williams is a hand. There's, there's no good synchro in this matchup. So. Yeah, there's I no mean, good synchro. Spark is probably the best one, but just in it, case he yeah. plays, like, you know, torrential or something. But Which he is. He is running that and a war. But even then, two mirror forces, too. It's just difficult to tell. Fate just has a huge effect on the way this game is played. I'm sure that one of those things just overwhelming you to where one fate's not enough. So let's see what Jerry can do with his, what is it, like 10 Infinite. cards in hand? You might as well, 11 say, it, cards might as well say 1,000. And Jerry has the advantage of being able to keep both six cents and return for the different dimension in his deck for games two and three. That's huge. Seeing as how... Jared Randolph is not running either of those two cards, so there's no incentive for him to side it out. Looks like he has a trap stun, the redrag, and he really has it. All very good. No, his hand is just incredible. Well, I mean, I mean, you you draw expect, yeah, you draw a quarter of your deck. What do you expect? But. <laughs> that is a quarter of your deck. Mm. Good Lord. Mm -hmm. I never thought of it that way. Resolves. <laughs> Resolves. Yep. So this is the problem now. What are you going to fade? I mean, you obviously fade one of them, but it's just tough. You can just overwhelm them to a point where. Right. You're, I mean, you're, you're one summoning three monsters. Yeah. Like, sure, have your fate, but right. you're just so far behind at this point. I mean, granted, that's just what happens when you draw yeah. five cards, exactly. but what can you do? Jerry's obviously going to do as much as he possibly can this turn. Oh, I mean, naturally. To put as much power on the board. Oh, and then of course. just set his return, and then the game is probably just over. Oh, I mean, Debris Dragon, yeah. This is, we knew we had that Debris Dragon, but this is really difficult for Rand Randolph. There's Torrential, yeah. I figured he had Torrential. And he's going to probably he keep his Spark, Spark Dragon a lot. What? Why did he put Spark Dragon in the grave? I don't know what just happened. Oh, the MST on the Ravine, yeah, okay. He tried to... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, ab okay, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, that I makes didn't sense. see that. Yeah, he played the, the Ravine over the field spell, and okay. Randolph chained MST, forcing Jerry Williams into gate. I see that's what he tried to do with the Torrential set, but see... Is that Kaiku? That's Kaiku. Story? Yeah, you see, he probably thinks that might be good, but it really isn't seeing as how Jerry Williams has. Know, I'm guessing he. Dimension. I'm guessing he thinks it's not good. I mean, because Randolph he's might got have four back. Yeah, but you might think like, all right, this is my only chance of winning if those are just four bricks. It's probably the best card he could have. It is like, in a vacuum, in this situation, it's the best he could have, but it's still not going to be nearly good enough. A Kaiku against eight cards is just. Not, oh yeah, absolutely. Not there. Now if Jerry didn't hit that five, maybe not. But let's see what he does. Or do wing blast, and he has trap sunset. Jerry's just going to set this turn up so where he returns from a different dimension. Just make a scrap dragon yeah. real quick. Jerry's really good at winning the game one with a turn, huh? Hey, man. It's what it takes sometimes. Absolutely. The card is just crazy. Oh, it's just... 
Very, very unfair card. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate. We can all hope the card gets banned soon. We can hope and wish. Yeah, let's see what he does He's here. Probably so gonna activate. Activate. Ooh, all right, he just and the game is yeah. just over. Yeah, I didn't even have to think about it. Yep, no problem. <laughs> Double trap stun, no problem. Enemy controller, yeah, no problem. So Jerry Williams takes the first game. Let's see if his side deck is prepared for this matchup. So Jerry Williams looks like he'll have access to some a pair of skill drains. An eradicator epidemic virus. Which is just game most of the time. Change his bands. You'd say change his bands against the magician, why not, right? Uh I personally would not, but why not though? Like if they summon magician, you just change his bands. Yeah, that's true. If that's like early in the game, yeah. And they just don't have magician anymore. But Jerry's going second. I mean I'm aware. But but he has if to If he's going it. first, I would side but, it. But Jerry has three maxis, an electric virus. That's already four to cards you out. have to side out. Yeah. So assuming you have to side out those four cards, yeah. he only has two skill drains and an eradicator. Oh, he has the three typhoons. Too, yeah, which, he has to yeah, side yeah, the three he has to side three typhoons in, because of because of all the traps. Look at how many Jared track Randolph cards. sides. Randolph is going to be putting. He in. sides two Jagger the Spiritualists, probably two Iron Walls. Oh, he goes in mystical rough panel. That could be a crazy. Oh, he sides mystical rough panel. Oh, that yeah. card is just. And the, I saw him side that game in. card. If you get, I was able to watch him play against Dragon Rules earlier, and he sides that in. Up Soul Drain. This guy sides a lot for dragons. But what does he all side out? Seems like he needs all of his cards in his deck. I don't see what he could possibly side out. Maybe his traps? Oh, he'll probably tell all of his traps for the traps that he's going to put in. Yeah, he'll probably, I mean, the thing is, you'll probably be able to take out some number of Crescents. The Priestesses true. are probably low utility in this matchup. Justice is probably l low utility. The problem is I'm not sure he has enough monsters in his. No, he has the three Kaikus, the three Magicians, some Spiritualists. It'll be a lot like the last format without Judgment. That's really what I think we'll see here. Phoenix Chain, probably a low utility card. You can side that out. Yeah, I don't like that card against this deck at yeah, all. Yeah, I don't like that card against this deck either. It'll be interesting to see if he sides it in. You can try and tell a little bit and see what cards they're signing in by looking at the stream a bit here. That's nice. Yeah, definitely a bunch of all those continuous. Looking at the rough panels. Yeah, rough panels definitely going in. Jalgen's going in. Yeah. Iron Wall's going in. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like he sided like five cards. So I'm guessing he sided two rough panels, two Iron Wall, and a two no, Jalgen. It's definitely one of five. That looks a bunch it looks of like five? It looks like a little bit more five, I think. So it'll be interesting here to see if JR can open up with one of those ideal hands. As we start at Nationals this season, it seems to be the thing where the Dragon Ruler deck just takes game one, Spellbooks have their natural game two, and then game three, the Spellbook play just never gets right, never gets going. So It's just the Dragon deck is just so powerful, and the Spellbook deck relies on so many certain cards, and if it doesn't get going, then yeah, absolutely. it's just in terrible shape. But Dragons can draw one of... 12 of their yeah. dragons to get it going. Jaren's open for a lot of blue three cards. Three sword, three ravine, oh, green so cards. many great starts. He's open for a lot of those spell cards. You see sometimes with the spellbook deck is they'll draw all their trap cards and just slowly but surely the dragon deck will weed their way through and force it out, force it out. And right. then Jared will end up drawing into like master and tower and, and wisdom. Monsters, bad monsters and then, that you yeah, can only summon once. And monsters that just don't do anything because you opened up with all the traps. Now right. if you get all the spells first, it's like you're then getting you're things going. going in, and yeah. then you start drawing the traps. That's when this deck really uh -oh. is almost unbeatable. But let's see what he ends up opening with. Well, he has Crescent. so It's a really good start. Best possible start. Yeah, best possible start. So unfortunately for Jerry, he hit Spellbook of Secrets first game. Let's see if he's a little bit more lucky. Not that luck wasn't on his side by rolling a 12, hitting a 5 on 6 cents, <laughs> and then winning with a 10. But yeah. I mean... I'm not sure Jerry's the type of person that would ever ask for less luck. I saw an Iron Wall in the guy's Yeah, hand. he has one in his hand. So. Which is one of the worst possible cards you can see when you're playing Dragons. Oh, I mean, if you just If you don't have an out to it, you just lose to it. That's why Trap Sun's a card. Right. Any hits? Uh, looks like a Tower, which is probably the worst one. The worst one for Jared. No, the worst one for Randolph. Yeah, That's tower. what I'm saying, Jared. Oh, Jared, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, you said Jared. It depends. Okay, well, he has this, so it doesn't matter. He had one of those hands where it didn't matter which one he was going to get. So. Summon Blue Boy? Yeah, Blue Boy. So he's probably going to get Secrets and then have Secrets Master. I think he had Secrets in his hand, did he not? Oh, does he? Okay, well, he gets Secrets and like activates that. Maybe it's a same. Eight. They're ultimate. They all look the same. Yeah, he has. I know, it's, it's sometimes it's same. difficult. So he searches out Master. Well, sometimes it's a right to have access to two Secrets. They always have one for the next turn. So a very standard opening play here from Jared Randolph. Uses Crescent, has Secrets, as Master, setting up so that he'll have access to Fate with three in the graveyard. You got it. You got Eternity. 
Okay, so. Oh, did he get an attorney? Okay, he well. did get an attorney, so Jerry so, knows yeah, he has yeah. fate. Yeah, he has the tower already, so yeah. So now he knows, like, two or three of his cards. Yep, so he'll have presumably a fate set. Would well, look like a wing blast, too. Is he, I don't think he plays wing blast. No, 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 no. it's an iron wall. Yeah, there it is. Oh, okay, it was iron wall. Yeah, touche. Touche, touche. Uh -oh. For those asking, Jerry did, in fact, win game one with return for the different dimension. And those asking what round it is, we are here in the top eight of the Airdrie Worcester series. Wait, now he can't fate anything. Yeah, he, he can't fate anything, but. He just can't activate fate whatsoever. That's probably why he didn't even look for fate. Yeah, he might have not even had okay, it in his I hand see. and did now not even want to search it. That might be what happened. Yeah, he just knew yeah, he was going to flip it immediately. But again, as long as that Imperial Iron Ball sits there, I think Jared's okay with his tower. Yeah. Granted, he would rather it stay, but... Now is the time he actually wants to draw monsters. Oh, yeah. Jared's just like, where's my false banana? Not that <laughs> I'm not sure he would decide it into this matchup, but anything. Fortunately for Jerry, Jared's hand looked quite strong. I think he did Secrets, that. Eternity. So why would you search Eternity, then? That, I think, is suspect. If you're not going to search I mean, Fate, why would you search Eternity if you're playing Imperial Iron Wall there? I think he has Fate set. I really do. You think that's and I think if it? he has an out for his Iron Wall, then he's okay. got Fate for backup. All right, I see. And then if he, if he does have an out, like Iron Wall's beating him, and if he gets rid of the Iron Wall, he's got Fate and Eternity for next turn. All right, I see what's going on. So, well, he's going to beat him for 1,000 life points. And Do you think he'll go into Shining Angel main phase two? Shining Angel? I mean Shining, Shining Elf, rather. Um, I don't know. I'm not really a pro I, I don't know exactly the right play 90% of the time with Prophecy. Yeah, Prophecy is a yeah. weird deck. It's one of those things where you invest into one creature that can be hit by Wing Blast and everything, and all of a sudden you lose access to Fate and Master. So Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely it's would a, not it's make It's a decision guy. point that a lot of times is very difficult to make. But he's elected there to go. There it is. Oh, there's, there's traps. The on. best card. You see, now this is good for Jared. He'll have access to the Fate and then be able to return it. So let's there's see what sword. ends up happening here. He's probably going to go search debris. He's probably just, this is Jerry. He's probably just going to go in. Yeah, he's probably he has, just like, he, hmm. he does not have Ravine, does he? No, he got destroyed that last turn because Jerry played a second copy of the tower. So, Jerry's just like, hmm, how do I Black Rose? <laughs> exactly. It's the only thing that's going through his mind Black right now. Black Rose. So, that's obviously why he's taking this moment to think. Of course, he has Kaseska, more Tempests, debris, and everything. Debris Dragon. He's taking his time. Yeah, he's taking his time. I mean, that's what we allow players to do here at the top eight of the ARG Circuit Event Series. He got the Bree Dragon. There are slow play warnings, but we do want these players to make the correct plays within a reasonable amount of right. time. Right. Can't sit High pressure an situations. Hour. They're playing for serious. Exactly. Prize credit. This is high stakes. The way it should be. Absolutely. So now he's going to be banishing what looks like a blaster and a redox from his graveyard. Presumably, that must mean he has a title in his hand. And probably another blaster. Or another fire. It's always... Oh, uh, redox. Okay. Oh, okay, so he won't be searching out for redox's effect. All right, he'll only be searching out blaster. It's always nice to banish your blaster against all these crazy matchups. So yeah. you can always search a blaster and give yourself another out to all their cards. Yeah, absolutely. Like, blaster's very important in the Dragon Mirror to bring it out, like, very fast first. Mm -hmm. But in every other rogue matchup, you love banishing blaster. Another reason why he's just the best one. Destroying a card is just crazy. Yeah, I'm not sure he'll be able to find a way to Black Rose. He's just going to be able to go into a Synchro. It's just going to get faded. Yeah. Well, he's fading right now. I'm not sure. Oh. You see, this risks him having title or access to another. It depends if he hits the guard. See, but either way, if he has title and a way to summon title. Yeah, I don't like that play at all. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see if Jerry can find a way out of this here. Looks like he has a Wing Blast. Yeah. Looks like he'll be passing with Wing Blast, two cards in hand, just a Flame Bell guard. See, this is bad. Once the tower gets going, yeah. the Dragon Ruler deck suddenly starts to fall behind, which is not something you say often. Drawing two cards per turn is insane. He did not just fate under Iron Wall. Jerry Williams played Trap Stun. Right. All right. This is it, Was that a power? He powered. Let's see what he's going to do here. Okay. Yeah, he just used power. So, yep, Flame Bell Guard dies. Jared Rudolph. Randolph, rather. Probably get to search for something like another fate, because take like fourteen hundred. Yeah, he takes fourteen hundred from that attack, dropping him to fifty-six hundred points of life. He goes and gets fate. Yep. Probably playing around another trap stun. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. 
You see, Jared seems to know what he's doing with these spell right. books. Playing I'm sure, I'm the sure he just plays yeah. dragons every round. So yeah, absolutely. It's just rinse sense. and repeat after a while with these yeah. kind of decks. You get to the point where we're talking about how Pure Iron Wall shuts down your fate. Right. But that's exactly the point. Mm -hmm. Traps not shuts down the Iron Wall. Mm -hmm. What can I have to stop these plays? And, I kind of um, like that. Yeah, it's very interesting. I wonder how you did you have Iron Wall up, you're going to win anyway. Yep. So it doesn't hurt that all of a sudden if they have a trap stun, or if you're suddenly shutting off your own cards, you can just get back right in the game because you have the fates. It's a very interesting interaction we've seen here. Expecting other players to be running traps. It's really working out. Yeah, it has Made worked really good all the way up to the top eight here. The ARG Worcester Series live in Worcester, Massachusetts. Jerry Flips. The Jerry Flips, a Phoenix Swing Wing Blast, presumably having to get rid of the Pier Iron Wall. So... I think this is the point of the game where he was really hoping that Jared just has nothing in the back rows. Basically. Other than the fate that he knows. Oh, did he just he just searched the fate and did he set one back row? Or did he set two back rows? I believe he's I thought he said two back rows because okay. he, he played the fate the previous turn. Say Jerry had, if Jerry had space oh, and yeah. he had one back row, then he could okay. So let's so see if Jerry can find a way out of this. Yeah, he just played sword. He had set sword, which we've been seeing a lot of players do throughout the weekend. Yeah. We've Make talked about that before. It's really nice. Yes, Jared's playing two in the main and one high priestess on the side. So a lot of players are telling Jared to scoop, but there's really no point in scooping. You can perhaps bait out some back rows right. to I mean, find a way to go over the top. He's only doing 1,000 damage per turn. Yeah. So title hits the field. So he has found access to the final element and will be attacking over a spell magician of prophecy if yep, Jared's going to let it happen. So he must have just drawn the title. I think Jerry might have drawn return. See, so never scoop. Yeah, look at that. He definitely did. Look at that. He's looking at his extra deck. I, th I think he drew a yeah. iron wall. The fact that he looked at his remove file yeah, like that. It's usually a nice tell to have. It is. And the fact that he organized it in such a way that Jared doesn't have access to the entire the entirety of his remove pile off like Lance. It's one of those subconscious things where all right, I'll know what's in my banished pile all the time. Yeah. Now you're going to have to go out of your brain and ask unless you've been following. It's kind of like the, can I see your graveyard when Monster Reborn was legal? They would yeah. draw a card and just look at their graveyard and ask to see your graveyard and like, did you reborn? I'm in trouble. So we'll see what happens here. Is that a secret? I think that's secrets, yeah. Definitely looks like a secrets. Allowing Randolph to search through his deck where, what? We're probably master, first of all. Well, yeah, spell Blue Blue Prophecy, rather. Into mass, that's what I meant. You must have a worry. Oh, skill, skill drain. drain. Interesting. All right, well. That's very good for Jerry. Had. Yeah, that is incredible for Jerry. He's going to, I think he might just have to fade it. Yeah, he's in a position where he probably just has to fade that. His title's not going anywhere. Yeah. The skill drain just stays in the field. He changed fate, yeah. Just the blue. I don't think it matters. Yeah, that skill drain should be banished, but I don't think it's really necessarily important. So blue boy resolves. Yeah, blue boy resolves. Searching master. Yeah, yeah he, exactly. Billy no, just shuffled yesterday. Jared. <laughs> Going back in. We wouldn't have seen such an awesome duel. Yeah, absolutely. So, secrets to the hand. I feel like Jared feels like he's in a good position. Now that that skill drain off the board, Jared just does not have access to as many cards as he does. Not nearly but if as he's many got, cards. But if he's got return. It's just, yeah. You can just never scoop with this, the yeah. dragon deck. There's always return. Can that return get there? Five back rows. Got him there, game one. Phase return. The title bounces to hand. He's going to flip Iron Cross first turn. Iron Wall's going to hit the table. Jerry's in it. Oh, it looks like Jerry just drew a mystical space, definitely. Oh, here we go. There's return. Turn for the different dimension. Jerry's favorite card. Jerry's favorite card, yeah. Unless he's got warning, he's in bad shape. Oh, and it resolves. resolves. So th this could be crazy. Never scoop, people. Never scoop. Yep. Is there a possibility for him to go into Black Rose and then... One blaster, two blaster. the whole field? What's, what is Jared at? Jared Randolph. Okay. Is he at 8,000? Jared Randolph's at 5,900. He took a few points of damage. The bottom was oh, torrential. All right, so he's torrential. Here's so, the space for okay. the Imperial Iron Wall. Space for the Imperial Iron Wall. Oh, man, is Jared Randolph is behind. These players were telling Jared to scoop. Can you believe that? He draws Mexico Space Typhoon. The perfect card to combat exactly what Jared Randolph has and has found himself back in this game with a graveyard full of Dragon Rulers having yet to use any of the Dragon Rulers effects this turn. You see, players, there's no point in scooping into your life points to reduce to 8,000. Jerry's, Jerry's going to think here for a little bit. Yeah, Jer Jerry's going to be sure to make sure that he comes up with the most reasonable play. Jerry, 
Jerry, I'm pretty sure, is just going to attempt to go for game here. Well, I, naturally. I don't, I don't see a reason not to go. Naturally. Uh, three back rows, he's going to hope they're all fates. Just, just all blanks. Yep. Well, there's definitely a fate. There's definitely a fate. We all we always knew that. But. It's just the, the right sequence. To yeah, get the, the right sequence. The so. They'll probably bring out Redox first. So he's 8,000, correct? Yeah. Okay. No, no, 5,900. He's 59? Oh, yeah, he's only 59. Better. He just drew the space type, but it could be Jerry's time. It could be Jerry's day. Did you, was you removing debris and redox? I was thinking about it. Tempest and debris for redox. Searching debris. Interesting. Let's see what Jerry, Jerry comes up with here. Did he summon the debris or was it just in his hand? No, the debris was in his hand. Yeah. I thought the debris was in his hand. Oh, no, no, the debris he searched because of Tempest. Right, so yeah, it's on the, the, yeah. okay, it must be in his hand. I don't know if he summoned it or not. The debris hits the table, and I believe the only target he has in there is Flame Guard. Let's see if Jared has a response. Yes, Scott Page played against Jerry in the top 16. There's a reason why Scott's sitting here. Unfortunately. But I'm happy for Jerry. <laughs> Mix Star Eater. Is that a Star Eater? That looks like a Star Eater. Good banish for Blaster. He fiendish changed Star Eater. Okay. Oh, fiendish change. That's what that was. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, you can do that before they enter the battle phase and things along those lines. He's 28. Yeah. Is that a Mirror Force? Gets met oh. with. Oh. Did he keep Mirror Force in the match? No. Oh, it's a Book of Moon. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I don't really like that Book of Moon at all. I mean, he has to get over his Blaster now. He gets a free flip summon. Yeah. It's 3,200. And he's fiendish chain. Oh, you, you can't. Can you? You can't attack with it. I don't think he took 32. Oh yeah. Because you can't even declare an attack. Oh, he's fiendish on debris. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. So 32. Yeah. Uh, we see your comments about Jerry William and the banished pileup. I think there was confusion. Yeah, I think there was just honest confusion there. It didn't look like it was intentional. Yeah, okay, so Jerry Wims is going to be victorious anyway. Jerry won? Yeah, I honestly don't think that was intentional at all. Look at Steven. Steven's going crazy. They're talking about it right now. Yeah, they're, they're discussing it now. The, all it, honestly, was, he was deciding what, what he was going to bring out from the return for the dimension. And, and then it got torrential. I don't think.